Okay, let us start from question number 6 now. The 6 question says sort the etc password files data and send it to the default printer. Now obviously uh, we need to know the commands. The command to sort the data is sort and uh, what is the command to print or send output to a printer and that is the LPR command. So the answer to this is going to be the combination of both. We would like to sort the data first so I can do it uh, in, in multiple ways. Uh, I can do cat etc uh, password and then I can send it to the sort command. This is something that can be done or I can directly sort the data also because the sort command can read directly from the file not just from the standard in. So sort etc password which will give me sorted data as you can see the y's are at the end w is at the end and at the beginning there would be a uh, a a b r t is the first user there usually the first user is root since we have sorted it is not like that and then send it to the printer is lpr lpr is the command to send it to the printer now uh, i don't have an lpr uh, set up the the printer setup and that's why i'm getting an error but this is how you would be sending a sorted data to a printer. So that's the answer to our question number six. Now coming to question number seven, print out lines in the etc password file that have a three digit number between the colons, a three digit number. Uh, a three di digit number, how can we do it? Uh, the first digit, the second digit, and the third digit. The first digit could be anything between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So obviously again the first digit is going to be a range. Then the second digit that can also be a range or that will also be a range between 0 to 9 and the third digit. So again our answer is kind of simple. We're going to use the square brackets and the range of 0 to 9, 0 dash 9 and then we will find out our answer. So our answer is going to be uh, this grep in single code I'm gonna put my string and then the uh, name of the file is etc password and what will I put in my so I need to have a colon at the beginning I need to have the uh, colon at the end and then in between three digits so the first digit is 0 dash 9 the second digit is also 0 dash 9 and the third digit is now 0 dash 9 so this is how you actually find out whether there are three digits between the colons or not so let us see uh, if there are any of them there no there are none let me check so no there are some okay why is that because I have an extra space here I saw that there are these three digits here so now let us see yes so I found out these are all the three digit guys uh, where is my command here my command started here and if you'll see all these are three digit numbers between the colons three digit numbers between the colons <coughs> so that is what the answer to our question is let me get rid of the space over here and now the last question which is append the output of command commands date and host name to a file named slash temp slash host so we would like to append so appending is something that I have not discussed up here but obviously you can do the appending instead of overwriting by just doing this instead of one greater than sign you will have two greater than signs that is what the append does so now how are we going to do it here at question number eight append the output of commands date and host name two commands are there to a file called as temp host now we're going to assume that the file called as temp host already exists it may or may not exist but i'm going to assume that it exists so therefore the command is date and uh, i'm going to say uh, slash tmp slash host so this is one command which will append the 
to the etc host and then I will have to do it again for the host name and then now let me see what is inside temp host only two lines so that means there was no file there or if there was any file then there was nothing in that file uh, but if I, if I again do the date command it will append to that file so appending is two greater than signs so uh, this is pretty much uh, our scope of uh, understanding regular expressions and the scope of IO redirection. I am pretty sure there would be a kind of some questions which will have all these tricks involved and uh, you will have to kind of know certain commands to make sure those things happen. So now I have made a list of commands that, uh, that you should know. Uh, okay it's taking a long time to get log out also uh, let me switch to uh, another screen uh, pwd so these are the commands uh, that are very simple and I think any combination of these commands can be used in the IO redirection or a uh, searching so uh, kind of make sure that you know these commands the tail command is to display the bottom ten, li ten lines of a file the head command is to display the top ten lines of the file WC is to do the count so obviously there are uh, counting the words is WC minus W let me just write that down in for our reference WC minus W is for counting the words WC minus uh, L is for counting the lines and WC minus uh, C is for counting the characters. Grep also some important options that you need to understand. Grep uh, minus I is for case insensitive search. Case insensitive search. Uh, grep minus V is the inverse. Inverse of what you are searching for. So those two are kind of important uh, uh, options that you may want to kind of memorize and find command I will go into the details of the find command so I will not write uh, some things over here sort command some of the options that you may want to remember if you want to do the sort in the reverse way like uh, instead of A to Z you want to do it uh, Z to A then it is minus R if you want to do the numeric sorting then you must put a minus N for numeric sorting so these two are kind of important options from the sort command point of view uh, cut command uh, cut usually minus D delimiter is a very common thing uh, for parsing the ETC password file the delimiter is colon it can be anything it can be any single character it cannot be multiple characters though it can be any single character and then you can search for field 1 or field 2 or field 3 or you can also go with field 1 dash 3 that means the range again the first the second and the third field and then obviously the name of the file is here so this is how the cut command works cut command also has some other options but I think uh, minus D is the most important option which always go uh, which always goes along with the minus F option for the field extraction uh, so these are certain important commands uh, that that you may want to memorize uh, and the awk command and the set command also I will kind of discuss that in little detail a uh, little later on uh, but I think uh, the if you know these commands and if you know the IO, uh, IO redirection concept and if you know the uh, uh, regular expressions that we have gone through the basic regular expressions uh, then uh, you should be alright in most of the cases so I will again uh, see you in the uh, next video with a different topic